Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to uh, just uh, make a quick video. I've already made a posting on this device uh, here on my blog. Um, this this uh, little device called the Turbo NAS, which is a NAS uh, device uh, from QNAP, um, is really, really cool. Um, it's about $800 to $1,100, just depending upon the type of service you want. Um, this is the, obviously the main site for QNAP. Um, the devices that I saw were the 5-bay, 4-bay, even the 6-bay uh, for uh, storing your, um, let's say, whatever types of SATA drives or SSD drives on these devices. Um, but the cool thing is, is that self-contained where you can do uh, virtualization, uh, obviously uh, Windows Server, uh, R2, Hyper-V, or using VMware. Uh, which is very powerful. You can bring it all together and do a virtualized environment. Um, not only that, but it also includes um, built-in uh, MySQL server and um, some other really powerful basic uh, networking things like uh, if you want to set up a uh, RAID data protection, a security, uh, cloud computing environment. This, this, this all can be done out of box. Uh, this this de these these devices are are pretty pretty good. Um, if you go into um, some of the uh, videos that I provided here at my posting, uh, you'll find um, just some some features of the the Ajax Web when you log into it. Um, just a general idea of 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 what these devices do on the QNAP. Uh, this is a really good review of I found from uh, this person at Geekanoids, um, and this one just gives you a, a, a review of of the entire configuration of <clears throat> any pretty well any QNAP uh, Turbo uh, NAS system uh, that you're setting up. So all in these these are awesome devices, but this 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 review right here from Geekanoids really convinced me it is a solid quality device. Um, and uh, I'm I'm really really impressed with it. Now, why am I mentioning this for all my um, uh, members or visitors of the Quantlabs.net? You know, I've been struggling for the last probably six months to a year trying to architect what what kind of device can I use or or, or network uh, some kind of networking device that can do all the things like having a backend for data store, uh, enabling me to uh, connect into it with multiple um, boxes, logging in and being able to do things like virtualization, parallelization, that sort of thing. And the one thing I really struggle with is how do I centralize it all? Um, and, I, and I really feel that this QNAP could probably um, meet those needs. Uh, the only drawback that I can really come away with is that um, inside the processor is an Atom uh, processor. So I'm not sure if that will be a, a, a hindrance in terms of performance. I'm sure it probably will. That's why I'm thinking for a testing environment or for a development environment or just even for a basic home uh, networking type of uh, server, uh, th these are really good devices for that. In terms of production, um, QNAP looks like it's a full, full on suite of products. Uh, not just just the 8 bay or 10 bay with these self-contained uh, turbo NAS lines but you're getting into some you know obviously commercial ready type of products which I've never seen before from this company I uh, this I've just heard of these guys as of today um, but QNAP looks really really good um, and uh, obviously there's a lot of experimentation optimizing and tweaking that goes with this but out of box what I really like is that as I said, out of box, it has a lot of, lot of features um, uh, that are part of uh, your purchase. So, and and and, and the documentation looks pretty good. Um, you know, uh, if if you have any questions about what type of environment, a box, what kind of scenario you're wanting to use, uh, the the site seems to have a, a good supply of of videos and documents uh, ready to go. Obviously, for mine, might be quite unique, um, being you know an, uh, a high high frequency uh, type of s trading system. As I said, and I'm going to stress this for developing and testing only. Uh, but uh, it, it's something really good to to get you up to speed really fast. Um, so I'm I'm looking at this as as a potential. Um, 
and uh, I just I just like the look of it. Um, it's a little pricey, but ov overall, I think in the long run, you're still saving some money instead of having to buy additional hardware. And if you go um, the commercial route in terms of software, you know, you have to worry about licensing and that sort of thing. But this seems to save quite a bit of money for you uh, because it contains both the hardware and the software. Now, I need to also stress that the, the drives are not included. That's just the box to host the drives and the bays. And these are hot swappable, no different than you would get in a, in a high-end uh, data server uh, environment. So the QNAP looks good. I haven't played with it. I haven't purchased it yet. I have no affiliation with the company, but I'm just basic upon it, looking at a box and a bunch of videos. Thought I'd mention it uh, for 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 you guys, uh, the uh, visitor to um, Quant Labs and what I'm doing. I'm I'm kind of interested in, in in the in this device. So hopefully I'll help you out.